tell my hair is long like long long like it just i don't even know how i got this long i think it's just i've been so busy with the house and just like work to be fair work takes up most of my time and then the, uh, when i've got free time i'm doing like house stuff and just everything and just didn't realize how long my hair <laughs> has gone like it is long long i didn't realize my hair was getting this long until like i knew it was a problem when my hair caught on fire i was turning on the gas on the stove and then my hair lit on fire and i was like oh my god my hair i need a haircut so today i'm cutting my hair the aim for today i want to cut my hair probably up to here so about this much off which is honestly quite it's quite a lot like you know the size of my face literally so i want to cut my hair that short maybe add in some layers frame my face a little bit do one know how i'm gonna do it no but i'm just gonna freestyle it and see how it goes so i'm sorry if you're a hairdresser and you're watching this or you know a lot about hair i'm just freestyling in my own way This may not be the best mirror to cut my I don't actually know if you can probably see, but this mirror is kind of bendy. It's been in my parents' garage for some time. This is the mirror we've been using as a temporary mirror because this is the only mirror we have in the house at the moment. And it is a slight curve, so it's not it doesn't give you the best uh you know, it's good enough, but uh it's a bit uh, distorted. <laughs> Okay, so now I think you can actually see, like, this is how long my hair has grown. You know, there actually was a time where I really wanted my hair to grow, and now that my hair is long, it's just like, it just keeps on getting longer, and I think it's just gonna bit out of control. The last time I actually cut my hair uh, properly, and I think I had it, like, roughly around this short, like, it was short, short. Now my hair is long, long. But the last time I actually cut my hair was when my boyfriend cut my hair, and, um... <laughs> So I'm just brushing my hair first, making sure there are no like knots in it or anything. Um, there is no structure to how I'm gonna cut my hair. I'm just gonna cut it and just see, and just, you know, freestyle it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna cut my hair here-ish. Okay, I'm just gonna roughly do it. It's okay, you know, I can fix it up in like a few days time if I realize it's odd or whatever, but it's okay. So, uh, uh, I don't wanna do it. Oh my god! It feels so much better already. I was getting a ton of split ends, not gonna lie, because I curl my hair quite a bit nowadays. Oh my god, it feels so smooth. But oh my god, there's a lot of hair! <laughs> oh my god. See, the thing is, I still want my hair to be long but I don't want it to be as long as it was because it was just dragging down my face. I've just felt like everything just felt so long because my hair was so long and I couldn't style it properly. I couldn't do much with my hair, but now, oh my God. Ooh, I don't know if I like this. I do want to add in a few layers. I want to shape up my hair. Um, how I'm going to do this, I don't know. Let's just do it. <laughs> to kind of just thinning out the ends but i don't know if it looks does it look okay <laughs> maybe i should have followed like a guide or something what was really good was when i trimmed my hair and i was using a brad mondo's guide to cut my hair and that was actually really good i can't actually remember what i did but i just remember thinking oh that was easy and that was even um i'm just gonna carry on <gasps> i left out a tail at the back oh no oh my god so this is how long my hair was and this is how long it is now it's actually bad and like you know what the funny thing is i didn't even realize my hair was actually getting long like i you know how everything's starting to open up again and all that kind of stuff i was just like when i see people everyone, the first thing people say to me is like well your hair is long and in my head it was just like my hair has just always been long but then i forget pre-pandemic my hair was not long my hair was just kind of like medium length pre-pandemic and so to see people again i i kind of understand now i think Okay, 
Okay, so oh my god, okay, I think I am pretty much done. I mean, to be fair, I'm gonna like see out a couple of days if things are just not aligning right. Things are a bit longer than they should be or shorter than they should, well, I guess not shorter than they should be. But like if things need like fixing up during the week and stuff, I can just catch that and just like snip as I go during the week. But as for my cup for today, I think I'm pretty much done. Like honestly, I just wanted a trim. Oh my god, it is so hot today. Like, look at me suffering in long sleeve top. I don't have any of my summer clothes. This is as summery as it gets for me. So today we are home shopping. We are uh, Baz just got a parking ticket. We're gonna see if we can get some home stuff and stuff like that. But I've been very picky throughout the process, so I don't know if we're gonna find much. There's many things, but we're gonna go to a bunch of places today. All the home shops, all the all, all the places, and oh my god, it is hot. Okay, let's go. So here's the thing, I am quite picky when it comes to buying stuff for the house. So I didn't buy as much as I thought I wanted to get. The main reason why we actually wanted to go out is because I wanted to buy a load of storage containers because we're kind of building, well Baz is going to build these shelves in the cupboard and we want them to be like a good size for whatever storage container that we get. I couldn't find any that I like. So I've got this vase for my room. I'm gonna put a thick plant in there because I cannot look after plants at all. So this is gonna be for my room. Thought this looked quite nice and quite like a neutral, nice color. But I've got some thought stuff. Also, I've got some coasters from Primark. I thought these looked quite nice. So I thought it just suits the vibe of the house. Just some more pillowcases because we replace our pillowcases like every day. So we just kind of need like backups for it. Ziploc bags, nectarines. We also went to like an Asian grocery store. So got some, got some brown sugar slices. I would just want to make some like Asian desserts whilst it's like, it's hot today. And I just love like cold Asian desserts. Great for hot weather. We're gonna have like a nice picnic tomorrow. So we just got some like buns for tomorrow. So I got some custard buns and uh, red bean pineapple bun, which is, these are two of my favorite. Got aloe vera drink for tomorrow for our picnic as well. Been my favorite to, ever since I bought this, this is all I've been drinking. Like I would have, cups and cups of it every day. So I keep running out very, very fast. This is a Os Osmanthus Oolong tea. It's really, really good. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's so hot today. So I've got some red. <gasps> hmm? Oh no. So we've got some red bean ice cream. Red bean, <laughs> one of my favorite flavors. Oh, this is nice. Very red beanie. But I like it when it's like strong in flavor. Really nice for the weather. Oh my God, it is hot today. Like in England, it doesn't get this hot. So I wasn't expecting it to be hot today, but it's nice. It's a nice day for ice cream. I don't know how I can even survive in this car because like, okay, so I'm here because Baz is getting his hair cut. We drive miles for him to cut his hair because we essentially, you know, we just moved house and stuff like that. He hasn't found like a barber's that works for him. Like we, we found like barbers, yeah, that can cut like, you know, Afro-Caribbean hair or whatever, but like they haven't done it well. So we drive ages to get his hair cut. And essentially I'm waiting for him in the car. As you can see, this car park where I'm at, no signal whatsoever. I should have downloaded things on my phone because I'm gonna be so bored. Um, there's people staring at me, but I really don't care. And it's just all I've got right now And the car is just snacks. And like I said earlier, it is hot today. I'm just glad we managed to find parking in the shade. But I don't know if you can tell, my face is like a greasy mess. I just want to take my foundation off. I feel so... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna be waiting here. I seriously have nothing loaded on my phone. I just all I can do is sit here. I don't even want to finish my snacks because then that's what do I have after that? I don't even have snacks. At least I've got the option of snacks. As you can tell, I can't even sit still, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'll be fine.
Okay, we are going to ignore my outfit because took a shower, wearing my pajamas are underneath this, but just picked up a box of Tim Hortons. So ages ago, me and Baz, we used to do these, I don't know if you heard of it, but like too good to go. It's an app where they kind of just for restaurants and just like takeout places, basically food places, just basically that leftover food and they sell it for a cheaper price. Especially, oh my God, you used to do it so much at uni to the point where I would visit sometimes and he would have like, a big giant like a full-on cake and not just a full-on cake so he would get like it would be like bakery places and it'll be like a full-on cake with more cakes and just loads and stuff i mean loads and stuff loads of stuff that we'd have to go to like oh drop it off like at my friend's places like hey do you want some cake because it was a lot anyways so essentially it's just an app when you could just like get their leftover food and whatever like this was this whole box tim hortons we only recently actually just tried tim hortons it's all right yeah, honestly i'm more of, of a fan of the like the donuts i'm yeah. not really a fan of like all their burgers and that it was, it was just okay it was like just okay but today we got their two good to go stuff so it's just a whole box and it's hefty it feels hefty so let's open, open, open it do you want to open it should i open it you're ready to open it Oh wow. Oh, oh my god. Happy Easter. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was such an evil laugh. <laughs> Honestly, we mainly got this because we're going for a picnic tomorrow. We're like, yeah, let's add some Tim Horton stuff. Yeah. Um yeah. this is a lot. Three pounds. Two pounds something. Three pounds. Uh, four pounds. Four pounds? Oh. Three, three, for seven. this amount. Like yeah. the last time we went Tim Hortons, we got just what, ten tin bits and that was what? Already three pounds. That was over three pounds. I'm pretty sure. 50 or something. Yeah. Damn. It's probably the best flavor. This right smells now. nice. It's a lot of chocolate. Is that is that Oreo? That's Oreo. Oh, okay. I think I like that. Oh my god, six each. Mm. <laughs> yes. I don't know if it's Tomorrow's picnic. Oh my god, we're gonna be so fat. You I mean, don't even know because think... Baz Baz made steak noodles, stir fry, stir fried some veg. We got like what? Um, Chinese buns from like the Asian supermarket stuff like that like um, this is like a full-on pick out picnic <laughs> ah! okay so today today we are headed to Watford so essentially also ignore what I'm wearing so actually you know what you know what's funny <laughs> So you know when they always say like, oh, what is it? <laughs> Where your boyfriend, steal your boyfriend's clothes, oh. steal your boyfriend's hoodie. <laughs> this is what happens when I wear your top. I don't have many clothes here. Most of my clothes are still back at home. I just bought like the most limited things that I can bring here because I, yeah, I don't really have a place to store it essentially. So I need to do the laundry somewhere by the top. But this is what happens. <laughs> But I do. Anyways, so like I said, today we're going Watford. I think this is the room that I've just, I've never filmed in. So I don't think I've ever properly shown this room. But essentially, so this is Baz's room. And here he's been using this desk. This is the desk that I actually used to use in the flat when I needed a big table for something, whether it's eating or whatever. And it's just a fold away table. And Baz has just been using it as his temporary desk ever since we got the house. Temporary desk, but it's been months. So essentially, what Baz is planning on doing, so he's bought this massive work top, this three meter work top, and he's going to use and cut it up and put it as like his own standing desk. So he's going to have a standing desk in the middle and the work top is going to um, be an extension of that across the size, honestly, I don't really know um, the specifics, but he has been looking for on either side to have drawers and he's been looking at the Alex drawers from Ikea however the Alex drawers from Ikea they don't sell them in black anymore and this is the kind of color scheme Baz wants to go with in his room and essentially so he's found it on Facebook marketplace and so we are going to go and collect it and it's only 35 pounds so um <laughs> So we're here in Watford. Baz is knocking on the door. I actually never been to Watford before, but like, what is round Watford? I don't know. I never needed to go for Watford for anything. It's a bit far out, but I should be helping to be fair. Let me open the boot. Price for this 80 70 uh, 80 forget 80. the one with casters i was gonna get casters so 80 but it's around 70 80 yeah 
Oh, we've got this for 34. That's good because originally. Got two of them. Okay, so we got. Oh, is it this one that's missing the leg? Can I turn this around? I think so. Should be able to. You can do it. What's that? You're doing it. Okay, so we got two of these. What is it called? Alex drawers. Alex, yeah. The Alex drawers. One is actually missing a leg. So retail price for this is 70 and then we ended up getting it for 35 for both of them. However, there are like a few like things like scratches and just like paint um paint Ch thingies, paint chipping. paint chippings and all that kind of stuff. So um there is a reason for it. Oh, and the leg missing. So there's that. We did get them for a really good price, 35 for two, which makes them about 17.50 each, I think. And then rather than the 70 pounds, which is actually very big difference and it, they also don't sell this color anymore so first facebook marketplace purchase Ta -da! meant to be coming in june it is may the sofa has arrived early oh my god this sofa is so nice it's electric recliner i'm like half on this seat so maybe i should be more on it also with the headrest too like oh is, is does this not say luxury it says luxury to me so it also has usb charging so i could be sitting here chilling on the sofa I'm charging my phone at the same time. It's actually crazy. Is that what, like, what, why? I, why do we need this? We do not need this. This is actually a few days after we got the sofa and actually the sofa came a little bit broken, which is a bit disappointing because like, it is not a cheap sofa, you know? It's a three-seater sofa, but it's 1,999 pounds. So, you know, I did not expect it to become broken, but things happen and whatever. So essentially I don't have any like video of it, but I do have photos. It was with the headrest on that side. So essentially with the headrest, as you can see, it can go up like so. On that side, only one side would go up. Fluff was coming out the bottom and it was just like, why? Someone came out to actually fix it within like a couple of days or so all good all fixed i mainly love it because it's just so comfortable like uh, honestly in terms of looks i feel like there are better looking sofas out there like i know there's better looking sofas out there so nice 